Ahoy mates. Today, let's take a look at the challenge submarine. The challenge statement: Design and create a water bottle submarine that can be made to float and sink. Testable goal: The submarine sinks and rises twice, each without being touched. Gravity pulls down on everything. Notice both the spoons when dropped fall down on the table. Let us throw these same spoons in the water. The plastic spoon floats whereas the steel spoon sinks. Some objects that fall through air float on water. Why does the plastic spoon act differently in water? The plastic spoon floats because of a force called buoyancy. Buoyancy is a force that competes against gravity. When a body is immersed in a fluid, an upward force is exerted by the fluid on the body. This upward force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body and is called buoyancy or up thrust in this case the winner is determined by the object's density density is the relationship between the amount of matter contained in an object which is the mass and how much space it takes up which is the volume Similarly, let us visualize how a plastic spoon and a steel spoon differ in density. All matter is made of tiny particles. They can be packed loosely or tightly together. Density is how closely packed the particles are or how much intermolecular space they contain. So, Here the particles in the steel spoon are tightly packed and particles in the plastic spoon are loosely placed. This makes the density of the steel spoon greater than the density of the plastic spoon. Water or any liquid also has density. So materials that are less dense than water float whereas materials which are denser than water sink. we can add mass to a material to make it denser so if we add weight to the plastic spoon it will sink as the mass and hence the density has now increased let us try with another material A balloon filled with air will float. But the balloon filled with water will sink. We can also make things float or sink by increasing or decreasing the volume. Let us try with a ball of clay. Will it float or sink in the water? Now we will try changing the volume of the clay that is change the space taken up by the clay. We will make it in the shape of a boat. The changed shape has lots of empty space such that it occupies a larger volume. Will it sink now? The clay ball was compressed and did not have any air to hold in it and hence it had more density. So, changing the mass or volume can affect the buoyancy of the object. 
Let us now think about how a submarine works. For that, let's observe a few fish. Under normal conditions, the average density of a fish is slightly greater than the density of water. It follows that the fish would sink if it did not have some mechanism for adjusting its density. The fish accomplishes this by internally regulating the size of its air-filled swim bladder which helps it to reduce its density and thereby not sink to the depths. Sometimes ships do not want to float. A submarine is a ship designed to do just that. To switch between floating and submerging, the captain adjusts the submarine's ballasts. Ballast is a material used to raise, lower or stabilize a ship's position. To dive, air is released through a vent on the top and replaced with seawater from below. This makes the submarine denser than the water around it, causing it to sink. When the submarine needs to rise to the ocean surface, the ballast tanks are filled with compressed air that pushes out the water. This decreases the submarine's density. The submarine today will be a plastic bottle. The first part of the challenge is to sink the submarine. To make this, we need to increase the density of our plastic bottle. The second part of the challenge is to make the submarine float. For this, we would need to decrease the density of the plastic bottle. How are we going to increase the density of the plastic bottle? We can add weight to the plastic bottle. This weight could be by letting in water and or by adding external weight to it. We have made a few holes in the bottle to let the water inside. Let's see if the submarine sinks. As you can see, it's taking a little time for the submarine to sink. Let's see if adding weight to the submarine makes it sink faster. To add weight to the submarine, we have stacked some coins and secured it with a duct tape. These stacks of coins will be attached to the submarine evenly with a duct tape. We could also use any other material like pebbles to add to the weight. These rolls of coins not only add weight but also add rotational stability to the submarine. With the weights and the holes, let's see if the submarine sinks in the water. Yes, this works. Our first testable goal is met. In case the bottle does not sink, it would mean that we need to add more weights. And this means more rolls of coins to be attached to the bottle. The next testable goal is to make the submarine float. Remember how the submarine rises? It adds air to the ballast tank and lets out the water from the tank. This reduces the density of the submarine to make it float. In our challenge today, we will take a plastic tube of around 2 to 3 feet in length, a rubber band and a balloon. Take a scissor and poke a hole in the cap of the bottle. Put the plastic tube through this hole. Please be very careful when using scissors. Once the plastic pipe is in, we will attach a balloon to one end of the pipe such that the balloon goes inside the bottle. Secure the balloon to the pipe with rubber band 
so that there is no leakage of air. Try to place the balloon in the middle of the bottle by adjusting the length of the pipe. Fit the cap back to the bottle. From the open side of the plastic pipe, try blowing air to blow up the balloon. It works! Let's now check the other testable goal. The submarine should float. We need to sink the submarine and now blow air in the pipe to inflate the balloon. Once the balloon is inflated, the submarine will slowly float to the top. Close the opening of the pipe with your finger and the submarine will stay afloat. We now have a submarine that sinks and rises without being touched.